should I leave the listing price in or should I leave it out? And in today's video, I share with you because we having this conversation every day. And I thought maybe it will interest you how we make the decision if we want to leave the listing price in or if we want to leave it out. Hello, Grüß Gott and Guten Tag. My name is Annette Block, your favorite real estate marketing mentor, and I'm dedicated to making you the number one agent in your community whenever you are ready. And when it comes to listing price and we are asking and seeing different conversation, then we make the decision on a certain criteria and maybe you should do too, because I see all the time, one is saying, leave it in, but they don't give you an explanation. They don't even know where you are in your business. Then we see people, they say, leave it out, but they don't even know why they leave it out. And here we are making the decision on a fundamental rule we are following so that we get some consistency because it all depends where you are in the business and what you want out of the listing. So here we are. You see our funnel back here. We have the triangle. You are very familiar with that triangle. And we have three categories. If we are open up the funnel, then the majority up here is agents that are new in the business that are starting out that have no closing and no consistently they have no leads and they need a lot of conversations that is for you if you are in that agent here is where we make the decision then we are having agents that have some predictability but they have no consistency in their business you see we make the decision based on their business and some other ground rules we are going in a little bit deeper and then we are having agents and those are the top two percent the top producer that are having predictable and reliable business coming in they having everyday leads coming in they having everyday conversations and they have predictable closings lined up probably every day so now you make the decision where you are in the funnel and here what i would recommend when we are getting students or clients that have no closings lined up, that have minimum leads and have almost no conversations, then we would recommend you are leaving the listing price out. And here is why. Conversations is your fastest path to closing. When you leave the listing price out, you are forcing people to reach out to you. And that means now you can start conversation with everybody who is asking you. Yes, I understand not everybody will qualify and you will have a lot of conversation, but also that means you need a lot conversations in your business when you are not having clients when you are having no leads that is your opportunity to get as many people into your pipeline as possible and then you move them to your pipeline depending where they are in the process you will have some looky looks and just somebody is asking but now it depends on you how you structure your conversation so that you can get them from a conversation to a lead to a contract and to a closing then you are an agent that has some predictability but they don't have consistent closing comings up then you can make the decision depending what you want do you want more qualified leads or do you want more uh, conversations and more leads that is where you are the deciding if you leave the price in or if you leave it out. The majority of our clients and students leave the listing price out because they want more leads, more people coming into your pipeline so that they can work through the process until they are ready and finding the right home for them. And if you are an agent that has consistent and predictable closings, then you don't need more conversation. I would recommend you let the price in. You state the price and now you have more qualified leads coming into your pipeline where you have the conversation with people that most likely qualify 
for that listing. So that is how you are able to qualify if those people are the right people. So you do it already upfront when you are stating the listing price. But let's assume you are an established agent and you want to get into a new community or want to take over and become the number one agent in that community. In this case, we would make the decision that you want to have more conversation and then we would leave the listing price out so that as many as people that are interested in especially that community reach out to you and now you can work that you establish yourself as the trusted advisor in that community. And that is how simply we make the decision and the majority of our students leaving the listing price out because they want to have more conversation. What means more conversation? Conversation are your fastest way to closing. 